Hi everyone, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be <clears throat> an Instagram sale. So I was doing an Instagram sale last night through today um, for basically, it's a reading where I'm gonna pull cards from six different decks <clears throat> to symbolize who you are right now, so your energies right now, and what you need more of. So it's kind of like to give you an idea of where you're at right now in this very moment on this day and what you need to, to have more of in your life. Um, it's a really cool spread that I created that I thought was like so insightful, especially because it's coming from different decks. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Um, I will list the decks that I'm working with, but basically I'm working with the Animal Spirit Oracle, Venus Rising and True Colors Oracle, the Good Tarot, the Crystal Angels, the Color Deck, and the um, Dreams of Gaia. <laughs> I always forget this, the title of this deck. So let me um, just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle and I'm pulling 12 cards. I'm pulling two cards from each deck. Um, one to symbolize you right now and one to symbolize what you need more of. So... Bear with me while I pull your cards. And then I gotta find a place to put them all um, because I have no space. I have no, absolutely no space on this table. <laughs> I need a bigger table. Okay, so I'll just start piling them there. Oh, okay. That was fast. Sometimes the cards just wanna be read right away. Sometimes, um, sometimes that happens and that's usually, I usually take that as a sign like it's meant to be. And I did this reading for myself last night. I actually wrote in my journal, um, what I got from the reading and it was so powerful it was so like spot on I was basically the the the, the energies I was supposed to embrace was acceptance in myself and then the um, the um, the energies I was supposed to need more of were like taking the, the risk <laughs> so it was really cool it was really cool to see it And if you guys are watching this and you want one, um, I'm only I'm only having it available today, which is Sunday. Um, but if you wanted to place an order, follow me on Instagram. My username is the Cackling Moon, and send me a direct message, and we can work it out. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because. Every once in a while, I offer little like flash sales like this, and so it's cool to jump on it because you can get a really cool reading at a discount. Okay, so you right now, we have Beauty of Gentleness, the Earthworm, Spiritual Protection, beautiful, Wisdom, Motivate Yourself, temptation. I love it. Okay. So you right now, um, and I don't even have to look up the earthworm card because I already know this one so well. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. And so let's start there. The earthworm energy is all about you are starting your, you're starting fresh. You are, you are at the very beginning of the journey. When it comes to all of these earthy animals, the earthworm is the first one. It is like the initial, you are giving birth or you are birthing yourself. You are awakening in the soil and you are ready to start fresh and new. So it's, it's to me, it's a sign of um, whatever path spiritual path or a, a path of interest maybe you are starting um you know to learn something new or you're fresh in a path with the earthworm energy it's showing where you're at right now 
you are still at that beginning phase you are still at that awakening phase um, and it's everything is still new so high expectations of yourself don't do that high expectations of, of others that others have on you don't listen to that um, earthworm is solo earthworm is very solo and you are on the journey for yourself um, <clears throat> but don't feel rushed and pressured by other people okay motivate yourself I feel is very important it's with a bright red card it's, it's almost like it's saying stop and look at me <laughs> motivate yourself is telling you no one else is going to do the job for you it's you it comes from you you need to find reasons why you have to stay motivated and so perhaps that is a lesson that you've been learning or something that you've been teaching yourself lately how to motivate yourself, how to love what you do <clears throat> and be your biggest cheerleader. A lot of times when we are starting journeys, um, we are if we're starting a new blog, maybe you have a business, but you're still kind of new. Um, it could be hard to get yourself to be noticed. You know, the way Instagram is now, it's like you got to have all these comments on your posts in order for your stuff to be seen. Um, so it's a little frustrating, but... I feel like it's saying in order for you to keep powering through this journey, you really got to motivate yourself. Then we have um, char Charoite, which is spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So I feel like the, the crystal angels are saying um, that you have they have your back. You're not alone in this. They have your back. They're going to be there to, to guide you. They're going to be there to help you. Um, spiritual protection is also important too. If you are embarking on a spiritual path and if you are working with other people and dealing with other people's energy, you also want to make sure you're taking care of yourself and protecting your own energy too. So when you are dealing with people on a daily basis, whether you work in a high volume, you know, setting with a lot of people or like for me, how, you know, I re do readings for people. It's very important that you ground yourself and you take breaks and you take, give yourself um, you time as well as time where you devote yourself to others. You can't always be going and running on fumes. Wisdom, which is the hermit. I love that for you. Um, I feel like the wisdom is, he, the hermit card is saying, um, the same with like, like I said, don't be afraid to take breaks when you need to. I feel like the hermit is saying it's very wise for you to do that. I feel like you are one of those people where you do need to take a step back every once in a while. And perhaps you've just come out of this because I feel like you're reawakening. Um, but I feel like the hermit card is saying you just came out of taking some time or taking a break and, you know, getting your feet back into the, the motion. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes, you know, especially if you are an empath and you feel a lot of stuff, um, you need to take that break. You need to take that step back. And the temptation card is there too. So I feel like the temptation is like, you know, sometimes you may be tempted to um, either look at that person's page and then you feel bad about yourself because you're you and your journey is not where that person is you know you compare yourself a lot that might be your own personal temptation um maybe the temptation card is resembling you being tempted to try a different path but you just haven't yet done it because you're afraid of what other people might think or say there's a lot of different things there but for whatever the case may be where you are at in your present journey the temptation is there you're going to start feeling it if you haven't already um but it is up to you to decipher is this going to be good for me or not um and then we have beauty of gentleness I like that for you. I feel beauty of gentleness is is just you saying like not everything has to be in your face. There's a lot of people who approach their journeys, their businesses online um, in your face. <laughs> um, you don't have to do that. If you have a subtle approach to the way that you do things, um, that means all the world, you know. So it's it's just kind of how you approach your personal business, your personal, you know, your path. Um, people will will flock to you because they enjoy the gentle energy that you give off. So that is where you're at right now. It's a, that's beautiful. I feel like you're in, actually, to be honest, you're in a good place. I don't feel like you are you are anywhere bad at all. Um, now let's see what you need more of. So we have break the rules, make your own. We have the eight of uh, fire. Ooh. Femininity, 
the fool okay i kind of see where this energy is going now the cobra and opal okay without about without without even having to like go card by card the entire energy of this this whole spread where you need to be or what you need more of is you need more um fire <laughs> a spark you need a push a gentle nudge but a push off that cliff you are full energy you are all about adventure and trying new things taking risks um starting a new path you know doing things your way not other people's way so powerful breaking the rules and creating your own is huge this one's saying you know instead of being playing it safe and careful sometimes you got to do your own thing maybe things ways that other people do stuff doesn't align with you follow your heart and like make your own path um femininity embracing yourself embracing you know all of the things that make you who you are you know self-love i feel I, I really feel called for self-love with this card um but also in your own personal power that you can be on top um on top you could be on top of the world and you can be you know the ruler of your kingdom you don't have to, you know, succumb to being lower just like everyone else or <laughs> putting yourself in a lower setting. Like, you can rise above. I also see that with Cobra energy. The Cobra, and I want to read to you what the Cobra has to say because that's powerful. The Cobra is also fire. So you have a lot of fire in this, in this spread. Cobra. The cobra is pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. The cobra represents a teacher or a spiritual guardian. The cobra hovers and watches, ever-present, over-protecting, ever-loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. I love that. Now, remember how where you're at right now, you got that spiritual card, the, the crystal angel, and it said you have um, protection, like you have spiritual protectors. Perhaps they are going to start showing, coming to you in signs. You know, maybe you're seeing snakes. Maybe you are seeing you know, you're, you're going to start seeing or what you need more of is to, to find a mentor or a teacher or become that person, you know, push yourself to that limit to be that teacher for other people. That could resemble a lot, but I feel like what you are is you're going to be rising up um, in a powerful sense. Opal, we have let yourself sparkle and shine. <laughs> you're guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So, what you need more of is just more confidence and just more pizzazz. You need to put yourself out there. You need to um, take risks and don't care about what other people are thinking. This Aquarius energy that we're in, the sun of Aquarius, sun is in Aquarius right now. Um, this is perfect time to be that person, to, to thrive. We have a new moon in Aquarius coming up. So that is another indication for you to really set intentions of just being free, you know, and by being free, I'm saying like letting the hair down, you know, completely big, bare naked, like be who you really are raw, you know, um, we also have the eight of fire and eight of fire or eight of wands is all about full force. This is pushing forward. This is forward energy. This is passion. So you are really being called my love to put your foot to the pedal, pedal to the metal <laughs> and go forward. You are no more safe, you know, treading the water safely like this is all about you diving deep this is about you really pushing yourself to that limit or beyond your personal limit because you have so much to give and offer so beautiful reading i love that i think that you are you're heading for some really cool stuff so that concludes your reading thank you so much for allowing me to um do this for you and anyone who is curious send me a dm on instagram um, and I will set you up with a reading. Thanks guys.